Hey everyone, I'm Katie from Addicted to DIY, and today I'm gonna to show you how I make packing boxes on my Thunder Laser. So packaging can be really expensive um, because if you're making a lot of different products that are various sizes, you need boxes for all of those. And that can add up quick because a lot of places won't just ship one box and you never really know how much of something is going to sell. So a great alternative is to make your own boxes on your laser. It is quick, it is easy, and it is affordable using cardboard sheets versus purchasing pre-made boxes. So I'm gonna walk you through all of the steps on how to find the template for the boxes and how to design the perfect box for your products on Lightburn and then send it to the laser to cut. I searched around on the internet for template maker websites and happened to stumble across this free templatemaker.nl website. Um, I discovered that they have a lot of different types of boxes. Some of them are really best for paper, but I did find a box with a lid that I could create and use it with cardboard. So all you have to do, I switched it to inches. I put in the length that I wanted, which for this was 19 inches by 12 inches, and then I wanted it to be two inches high. I hit create, it automatically uploaded the file, and then I was able to import it into Lightburn. Once I import it into Lightburn, I'm able to make any edits to the box that I need. Um, it does have a couple little logos, so I went ahead and I deleted those, and then I went ahead and started making the changes to the box. So for starters, I turned on perforation mode for the light blue lines, which is where the box is going to be folded. I chose half inch perforations, which give me just enough to be able to crease the box, um, but not cut the box in half with too many. Um, I also needed to change my settings. I have a 130 watt laser, so I changed my settings to 150 speed and 50% power to cut through the cardboard. I also changed these same settings for the red outline area, um, so that way it would also cut with the same settings. And I didn't show this on the video, but you definitely wanna make sure that you turn your air on for both of these. Um, mine was shut off for the pink setting, um, but you wanna have your air on high for both of those. Now, I do like the flap to be a little bit bigger, so what I did is I went into the nodes and I highlighted both nodes, and you can do this by holding the shift button and highlighting both of those nodes, and then I pushed the up arrow one time and it increased the length of that folded flap. I also did the same for the side flaps because I wanted those to be a little bit bigger. Um, right now, they're only about a half inch, so I once again held the shift button clicked on the nodes, and I hit the sideways arrow to increase the length of the um, flaps on the, the sides. Once everything looked good, I went back into selection mode and I highlighted the whole thing to send it to the laser. I placed my cardboard sheet in the laser and then went ahead and framed the project to make sure that my sheet was large enough and that I had the orientation correct for it. Once I determined that the orientation was good and that everything worked out with framing, I sent the project to the laser. And it cuts very quickly. It's amazing how quickly you can cut out a box with this. It does the perforations first and then cuts the outline of the box.
and you can see that once it's finished, you open the laser and you have a perfectly cut box for any size that you're needing. Once the box was cut out, it was time to assemble it. So what I used was a piece of scrap wood and I used that as just a straight line while I bent all of the areas that um, had creases in them. So I line it up with the perforations and then I bend the box pieces accordingly. Once I had all of the pieces uh, bent where they needed to be, um, I grabbed a sheet of 3M adhesive and I just cut a strip off and I used this to glue all of the flaps together. I cut small pieces from the strip that I had cut and cut them to size so that they would fit nicely on the little tabs where the flaps are glued together. Once I had added all of the pieces of adhesive, I peeled off the backing and started gluing together the corners of the box. After all of the corners are glued together, you have a perfect custom sized box for shipping. So I designed this box to fit a travel map that a customer had ordered. Um, and it is a little bit short for the uh, size that I needed. I think if I were to be shipping this, I would probably create the box to be three inches tall, but this is going to be just a local pickup, um, so I don't really need to worry too much about it being tossed around or anything like that. So I just added some bubble wrap, um, added all the parts and pieces, and of course business cards, and taped it all up uh, for the customer to pick up. So I hope you found this video helpful and valuable. If you are looking to expand your business with shipping different sized items and you just feel stuck with deciding whether or not to order boxes, now you can design your own. You can buy cardboard sheets, which are much more affordable and make boxes for various sized items that you sell. If you have any questions at all, definitely leave a comment. I will do my best to answer it. Also make sure that you subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and also the bell icon so you're notified every time I publish a new video. Thanks so much for watching.